We're back. Again, this is the third time in this month. I uploaded three times, maybe total, last year. Today, I'm going to show you this cool-looking motion plastic wrap effect. I'm going to be completely honest. I got it straight off the Pixar page. I know you saw it from the thumbnail, but your boy got a cut, okay? Looking fresh as hell. If it's so fresh, why are you wearing a hat? Who said that? Don't. I'll do that. This effect... <laughs> Okay, this effect is dummy easy and it's really short. So first you need to get a good picture of yourself just kind of standing there with a clear difference between you and the background. So you don't want to be the same color as the background. That's why I cut myself out. I was wearing a white shirt like an idiot for this one against a white, partially white background. So I put myself over on a color background. The first thing you do is you go into tools and motion. And then at the bottom, you see where it says auto, we're going to select auto, and then it's going to make a selection. This is why it's so important that your background is easily distinguishable by Pixar software. Grab yourself and then pull to the right. And look at that. It automatically starts doing it. Now you can change the count by dragging up on the count here, but it doesn't look as cool when it's got like that many. So you want to pull it back to, I don't even know, however many I go with in this video. And the opacity you can course bring down. So that just changes how many echoes you're going to see completely. Tap apply, go back into tools, motion, and do it again for the other side. Now we hide the edits by going into effects, FX, and then choose film one or film two, actually film two or film three. I usually end up using film too on these. Drag up the fade if you want. I don't like how aggressive it can be. Tap apply. Now we're gonna put the plastic wrap on top of this. Scroll over at the bottom until you get to mask. Go to ripple and then choose ripple seven. Now ripple seven is pretty cool because it's literally just a trash bag. You know how I know? It's on screen right now, go to normal. It's a goddamn trash bag. <laughs> but that's the power of blending mode. So put it on screen and only the brightest parts shine through and then you get like a plastic wrap type look, okay? So if you don't like the current position of the trash bag or if it's covering your face with the brightest points, at the top you see those little flip points, just flip it around and you can get it to a good point. Like, uh, that right there is fine. And now after you've got the trash bag on there, back into effects and then choose another filter to bring it all together. Maybe I'll use Dodger on this one. Dodger's all right. Tap there, bring up the fade, apply, next. Hashtag, hey Pixar, and this is the one I edited in the video. Post that to my Pixar. There it is. While I'm working on a video, I post all my prototypes here on Pixar. So if you want to see, you got to get a behind the scenes look, follow me on Pixar at Kenov8, just like Instagram. But that's it. That's how you do that plastic wrap motion effect kind of deal. I don't know what I'm going to call it in this title because they don't even have a title for it on Pixar. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. My screen recording just finished without me saying anything. Oh, because I locked the phone. If you enjoyed the video, I really appreciate you watching it. Hit the like button, subscribe for more new videos on Pixar. Also, let me know in the comments what you want to see. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I need more comments on these videos. I don't care what you say in the comments. Tell me what you had for lunch, what you're having for dinner, what your mom said to you last week. I don't care. If you want me to keep showing up, you show up for me. You hear me? Watch my videos.